what do we do in this? We look at charts, we look at open interest, we look at uh, uh, FIDA data, and we try to form an informed opinion on uh, where the market is going to go tomorrow and what are the likely things we can do for the market. So why do we do this program, right? See, like the biggest pain point I've seen in my life is that everybody looks at wrong sources to get the direction of where Nifty is going. People look at others, people look at advice, people look at sentiment, people read the news, people spend innumerable hours on TV channels, people look at China's GDP data for next week. Why, Apko, Kal, you want to trade expiry for tomorrow, right? What do you care China's iron output is going to be the next quarter? The fun part is that everything you want to know is so obviously out there in the data. Data can tell you where Nifty is going to go so easily and yet people don't look at it and people look at, you know, I don't know what they look at. So, for example, if you look at FIA data since March, you would have known definitely Nifty was going up 1,000 points in it. If you look at open interest data for the last few days, you would have known where Nifty is going. Everything is out there, but people don't use it. So, we thought, let's shake up this thing and let's bring some objectivity to analysis by looking at data. Right? That's the large plot. For those of you who are uh, regular here, know that this is what we have been up to. So, for those of you who are newly joining, this is the plot of uh, what we are supposed to do. Right. So uh, uh, yesterday we were saying that, look, uh, despite everything, market is still looking bullish. It's still a buy on dips market. <laughs> it's still uh, bull call spreads. It is still long futures uh, with tight SL. It is still bull put spread. All of that we have talked about. We even said that 7700 is likely to be a support, which we uh, kind of saw clearly today. Uh, so let's get on to uh, Kyalagra market. Right. So first thing, let's do a screen share of our analysis yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I think we had said that uh, bullish hammer, confirming bullish close, likely to go up. <coughs> Unminded 7700 is a huge support and you must have seen it today. Somewhere close to 17700-ish was today's low and then again it bounced up from there. FI data was mixed signals. So we said go long as long as 7700 <coughs> holds and we said we can do bull put spreads with selling the strike at 7700, call spreads for next week or long futures with tighter. Anything you would have done, you would have made money for today, right? <coughs> so. Uh, uh, how's my nose? Um, very smooth, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. It, it's really funny, right? So I have a <coughs> bent nose bone. So I met a, uh, a classmate of mine, uh, uh, senior of mine. Uh, he or she runs like a very large. Uh, uh, was this is the CEO of a very large uh, uh, fintech uh, company, and we had met like uh, two three years after college, right? So. <laughs> Uh, she was telling me, Ki boss, they go, uh, 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 that, that nose allergy that you have, uh, it looks like you're <laughs> doing cocaine every time before you go live. So <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. And like, uh, it's a very believable story. Uh, but no, I genuinely have an allergy. I'm not snorting anything. But, uh, but okay, anyway, we'll, let's go to market. So, so what's the most important thing here, right? The important thing <clears throat> in today's analysis is, the kind of support we are seeing every time market goes anywhere never near 17700 right so i think this is the nifty spot chart let's look at nifty futures chart also right so this yesterday we said this this is a bullish engulfing, sorry, bullish hammer candle that was formed three trading sections ago. Right, this. Then there was a close above which confirmed it. Today is the completion of that. And then it went down and then it came back again. Now we have a 200 DMA, which is a 200 daily moving average somewhere, sorry, 100 daily moving average somewhere around here. Now that is acting as some kind of a small resistance. But important thing to notice here is that there is not much of a rejection from here. So if there is genuine resistance here, there would have been a rejection on top, right? Like the candle would have looked something like this, right? With a very big upper shadow as you call it. But this is hardly any bounce. It closed very near the 100 DMA. So it means that the bulls are strong, volumes are decent. So Nif Nifty is looking pretty strong on daily time frame. Now let's look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, actually, we talked about this yesterday. We said that it's above the swing high. And every time it tries to dip, this will act as a support and will go up. It did again do that exactly 
like how we thought it will happen and uh, it again went up right so uh, look at this right what is this candlestick formation this is a bullish engulfing why because there is a tiny red candle sa and then there is a big green candle fully engulfing it and on a support right so this blue line is a support this candle which is the green candle is the bullish engulfing candle that is the uh, confirming candle which confirms the price action saying that boss yapi lo utha rahe isko and uh, uh, this is a support this is a candle so bank nifty has formed a bullish engulfing it's likely to go up right and dollar if you look at it yesterday we were saying it's a doji it's likely to continue dollar is exactly going the way we thought it will go 8150 maybe it will test right uh, so all of that in the chart so on chart strong nifty strong bank nifty uh, weak dollar all of them set up like a very ideal uh, setup for uh, going up right uh, the index is going up uh, so uh, so that's one now let's look at option chain option chain is very clearly bullish for today every level we have put addition uh, similarly here right uh, sandy sandy does a huge support sandy 800 is a support 900 and 800 18000 have some resistances but here's the important thing look at the price action towards the end uh, last two hours yeah there's a lot of unwind there's nothing to read here so i'll just take it back there's nothing to look at in the price action towards the end people have got out of their positions 17700 pakka for sure is going to be a support there's no doubt about that uh, expiry will most definitely happen above 17700 the kind of oi we have built up maybe it can happen above 17800 maybe it can test 17900 because there isn't uh, yeah there is some action here in terms of addition in the morning but let's just safely conclude that 17700 will stay 17700 here to uh, expiry likely above 17700 now pcr is one that is bullish then let's look at fi option data so fa option data fifty thousand calls bought twenty five hundred puts bought sold this is neutral this is so this is very bullish fifty thousand calls by this is bullish but not like super bullish or something which is mildly bullish mild mild bullish this is neutral and this is bullish but then we don't really look at stock data so it's insignificant now let's look at futures oi futures oi is really 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 dip to like lower double digits like 10k types so this is very positive and here's the thing right you can see the sentiment you can see the trend here clearly how futures oi has been steadily decreasing in the negative so fi data is very clearly bullish uh, 50k calls by 2k puts sell bullish futures data neutral 1000 uh, cr by bullish but then you can't really look at stock data to look at one day expiry decisions right verdict is uh, uh, stay long likely to test 17950 to 18000 i mean uh, let's i mean why are we hesitating dude we are likely to test 18000 plus right so trades are simple right i mean there's no change in it uh, hold on to anything you picked up anywhere uh this last friday i mean no new trades right because see here here's a fun way to look at it right uh if you have been watching this thing for the last 4 days and you have not gone long and now if i am suggesting you a new trade it's not like you're going to do that and if you have been watching for this uh, this for last 4 days and you've been long 
then it's not like I have to suggest you a new trade, right? I mean, whatever you have, let's keep it till tomorrow and see where the market goes, right? So basically, hold on to all the longs and uh, initiate longs for next expiry till Nifty reaches 18,000. Uh, SL below 17, uh, view changes below 17,700. You uh, questionable if Nifty goes below 17,700. So long story short, simpler market to trade. Just stay long as long as uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Aman is asking what stock options I trade. I don't trade stock options at all. I only do Nifty and Dollar INR. I mean, you, you can see the you know verified by sensible link, uh, nucleolated dinosaur. That's my name on verified by sensible. Uh, I only trade Nifty and uh, Dollar INR. I don't even touch Bank Nifty because I think I like uh, slightly less volatile, more predictable uh, instruments that have much more data points. So uh, again, so I just explained this. So the reason why I don't trade stock options is because stock options have only one data point, that is volume of the stock and volume of the futures. The option chain is not reliable. FIDI data is non-existent. Nifty has top volumes, futures volumes, uh, FIDI data, option chain. I can look at many things and trade, right? So I would rather always take something where I can look at multiple sources of data than trade something that only has one source of data. Uh, what's your view on May as it considered Black Swan month here? Black Swan, why is May Black Swan month? I mean, a lot of people say that you can sell in May and go away, but I don't know. Like I've seen so many Mays which did not go down. So yeah, I, I'm not sure about the myth or <coughs> urban legend or reality, whatever it is, maybe. Uh, black Swan. I don't. I don't know if that is real or not. So I would rather look at. See, the, why? Why do we have to go with May? Kharab hota hai ya September acha hota hai. We can just look at data and go ahead, right? Like right now, there's nothing which tells you that market will go uh, <coughs> short, right? So I'm going to stay. Uh, what the data is saying, I am going to do whatever wherever I'm going to go wherever the market takes me. That's it, right? So anyway, that is our analysis today. We'll see you again tomorrow. So until we meet again. 